In this episode, we are going to talk about the geometric mean, which is also another form of finding the mean of a given data. We have arithmetic mean, and this episode focuses on the geometric mean. So straight away, when we have univariate variables, where we are talking about x1, x2, x3, up to xn and these are discrete random variables and we are to calculate for the geometric mean these are not grouped variables are you okay always know the difference between grouped and random discrete variables these are just random and if we are to find the geometric mean which is represented by gm it is going to be very simple we are going to be x1 multiplying x2, multiplying x3, multiplying up to the xn raised to the power 1 over n. So this is the formula to find the geometric mean for random discrete variables, where our n, where n is the number of variables so if we have eight of them that will be one on eight if we have five of them that is going to be one on five it is very simple to find the geometric mean so if for instance we have x1 x2 x3 and x4 the geometric mean gm for these variables is going to be my x1 multiplying the x2, multiplying x3, multiplying x4 on here, my n is, we have four of them, one on four. And with this, I'm going to get my geometric mean. So simple. So we have some examples over here. Find the geometric mean for two, seven, eight, and nine. How do we go by this? So solution. We have 2, 7, 8, and 9. From here, our n is going to be how many of them? We have 4. So, geometric mean gm is going to be 2 multiplying 7, multiplying 8, multiplying 9, raised to the power 1 on 4. And this, my gm is going to be 5.64 are we okay so example 2 2 we have 50 72 54 82 and 93 calculate the geometric mean first i have my n is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 i'm having five of them as five therefore my geometric mean for the data is going to be 50 multiplying 72 multiplying 54 multiplying 82 by 93 on 1 on 5. So when you punch this on your calculator, your GM is going to give you 68.265. That is very simple when you go by this formula. So this formula is the simplest for ungrouped discrete variables. However, you can manipulate this formula to also obtain it in terms of logarithm function. So let's look at how to obtain that one. So straight away from the same formula, now we know that our GM is going to be Let's use x1 multiplying x2 multiplying x3 up to the xn part. This is multiplication. So that is going to be multiplying up to xn, 1 on n. So I can apply log to both sides, log to the base 10 to both sides. So apply, we are just generating another formula log to the base 10 to both sides this is going to let us have log of 
10 of gm equal to log the base 10 of x1 multiplying x2 multiplying x3 multiplying up to xn 1 on n. Are we okay? And from the loss of logarithm, we are going to get log to the base 10 of gm equal to, I can pull this down which is 1 on n multiplying log of base 10, x1, x2, x3, up to xn, this way. Are we okay? So now, what do we have to do? If we have logarithm and we have products over here, how do we expand it? Also, from the loss of logarithm, this is the same as 1 on n, where the logarithm is going to add themselves. So that will be log to the base 10 of x1 plus log to the base 10 of x2 plus log to the base 10 of x3 plus up to plus log to the base xn like this. So this is what we have. Are we okay? So now, this can also be simplified as log to the base 10 of gm, which is equal to 1 over n. Everything here can just be written as summation of log to the base 10 of the xi, where i begins from 1 up to n. Are we okay? So I have log of gm. I'm interested in only gm. So what do I do? I have to take antilog of both sides. And when you take antilog of both sides, when antilog meets the log, it is going to take it out. Are we okay? So that is going to give me with gm equal to this side will be antilog of 1 on n summation of log of x to the base 10. I start from 1 to n. So this is another formula to find the geometric mean of random discrete variables. I know you say this is too much, but this is also the standard equation that will help us to find for the grouped data. So get used to this formula so that when you get to the group data, we cannot use this for group data analysis. So this is the one we have to use for group data. So once we know this from this part, it will be easy to. So let's solve an, another example with this equation to find for random discrete variables. So let's look at it. It says find the geometric mean of the following numbers 9, 8, 15, 3, 4. 16. Straight away, we can use the first formula, which says the geometric mean is equal to, now that will be 9 by 8 by 15 by 3 by 4 by 16. Raise the power 1 over, they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we can try this one. So with this, the geometric mean is going to be 7.69. Are we okay? So this is the geometric mean using the simple formula. If it is objective, you can run through that and straight away you will go. So let's try to also use the logarithm formula. It says the geometric mean is the antilog of now, which is 1 on n, summation of log to the base 10 of the x, starting from i, equal to 1 to n. Please don't be afraid of the formula. It is just simple. So first, we have to get our x and get the log of x. n is still the number of what appearances that we have. So n is still number of appearances or occurrence 
are we okay? So from this variable, I can still make a table say, this is my x, this is my log to the base 10 of what? x. And the variables for x, we have 9, we have 8, we have 15, we have 3, and 4, 16. So now, log of 9, that is going to give us 0 0.9542. Log of 8, 0 0.9031. If you are using the log right up to four decimal places. So log of 15, 1.1761. This is going to be 0 0.04. This is 0 0.4 log of 3, that is 0 0.4771 and 0 0.6021, 1.2041. Are we okay? So, since I'm going to find this, I'm going to say log of x, summation of log of x. So, the summation and sum all this summation of log of x. This is going to give you a sum so that you can be able to. So this is going to be 5.3167. Are we okay? And our n, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So our n is equal to 6. So from the geometric mean, we are going to have antilog of 1 on 6 multiplying summation of the log. Summation of the log, that is 5.3167. So antilog is shift logarithm. Are you okay? The natural log and you press shift natural log. That is going to give you 10 raised to the power. So that is going to be 5.3167 on 6. And this is going to give you us 7.69, which is the same as using the formula. But as I said, in order to be easier for you at the grouped data, you have to get used to this formula. But you can also get this for objectives sake. Thank you for watching the episode for random discrete variables. Let's check out the next episode where we are going to tackle group data for geometric mean. See you in the next episode.